I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to get started in surf fishing in five minutes or less. Stay tuned. My brother goes fishing in Florida about once a year and he always asks me, what do I need to do for surf fishing? So instead of explaining this every time, I decided to make a video. Let's talk about the gear first. You don't need to spend a fortune on this, but I recommend you get at least two rods. One is a long rod, 11 foot or greater. This is a 13 footer and I've got a 5000 series reel on it, but a shorter you can go with a 4000 series reel. And then a short rod. This is seven feet with a 3000 series reel on it. And you use the long rod to reach out long distance, like if there's a shelf that you got to get beyond. And you use the short rod to fish in the surf, in the suds. Because at high tide, the fish are going to come in to feed on the sand fleas and other things that are close to the shore. You also need a rod holder that you can put into the sand. And the best way to get it in is to wiggle it in. Now let's talk about terminal tackle. The simplest thing to use is a bottom rig. This is a two hook bottom rig. And I've got a weight that's matched to the power of my rod. And I also like using these LED lights to attract fish. I'll show you how to do the rig when I get back to the shop. Now for bait, the easiest thing to use is fish bites, but you can use dead bait or live bait as well. But fish bites, either bloodworms, shrimp, or sand fleas are all good. In terms of casting techniques, there's a lot of different ones. The pendulum cast is probably the one that's gonna get you the longest distance, but you gotta practice that to get good at it. So just go with a regular cast like I'm doing right here. So when do you come out to surf fish? Easy, high tide, plus or minus two hours. That's when the fish are gonna be closest to the beach. So once you're out on the beach, how do you know where to stop the fish? Well, on a calm day like this, it's a little bit harder, but you're basically looking for two things. You're looking for a gap in the waves where there's waves on either side of a flat spot because that indicates deeper water. And then you're also looking for rip currents and you want to fish the sides of the rip current because the rip current is going to pull bait out and attract fish. Now once you get set up, you, get, you can't just go to sleep. You need to watch what's going on out in the water. If you see birds diving or you see splashes on the surface, that indicates that there's bait in that spot. And if you possibly can, that's where you need to throw your bait. How often do you check your bait? If you're using fish bites, maybe every five to 10 minutes. If you're using dead or live bait, every three minutes. They don't last as long. Once you've got your bait out there, now you gotta sit down, relax, chill out, and watch your rod. Now, if your rod goes eh, 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 that's just wave actions. That's not a hit by a fish. If it gets tick, 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 that's a crab hit. You need to get your bait out of there because the crab's gonna get it. You know you have a fish on when the rod tip goes wrong and stays down. Real quick, let's talk about how to make a very simple one hook bottom rig. The first thing I'm going to do is tie the hook on in the middle and I'm gonna use a Palomar knot to do that. If uh, you can't follow along with what I'm doing, there's plenty of good websites called like Grog's Knots that will teach you how to tie this particular knot. Lubricate it as always, and then tighten it down. So that's the middle of the bottom rig, and you can put two hooks on here if you want. And then at the top and the bottom, tie a surgeon's loop, which is just two overhand knots. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a small one at the top to attach to your swivel. And then you're gonna make a large one down here at the bottom to run your weight through. The one down at the bottom has to be a little bit bigger so the entire weight will fit through the loop. And that's all there is to it. Just clip off the tag ends and you're ready to go. And if you get lucky, you could catch some nice fish out in the surf.